hey this is a quick video for general laborers so if you're looking for a general labor job this company really would love to have you and let's go over what you would be doing so here's a property as an example of the house that we purchased that we recently have so now one general labor job would be taking um, brush and putting it in like a six or a four foot pile that's really important that these bushes are in this uh, four foot pile and also if you look you will see garbage here and you will see garbage there and that's part of the general labor job to make sure that there's no garbage in the yard this yard is not that bad um so oh each property will have to be lawn mode so you have to keep each each lawn mode and we supply the more now if you look under the porch area there you'll see a little trash and you will see trash here as well okay so part of the general general labor job is to um, we'll have a trailer and you would put some of this trash in the garbage bag the others you wouldn't but whatever the case all of the trash would have to go into a garbage bag on top of the trailer here's another example of this area would have to be raked up really good so that's pretty much in every single property in terms of the outside let's let's just continue to go outside oh here's another one you see how for example that crack in the side in the driveway here in the concrete area so we have a jack camera you will be required to jack that jack camera that up just a little bit it wouldn't take long and it's not hard as it sounds so we'll show you guys how to do it and this is again for the general labor so we have general labor which is things like picking up trash raking up leaves in this case what a general labor or would do is leaves branches just kind of rake all of this stuff up put it in garbage bags so you we have maybe three or four houses in the dallas area that you will be driving to throughout the day and we'll take care of the gas so don't worry about that if you have a flatbed truck that would definitely be preferable so you would take this garbage up we may ask you to take it to the dump or but whatever the case it has to come off the yard okay and on most houses you'll see cables like for example this is a this is a dish cable you would have to remove cables from the properties just what you do is pretty much disconnect these cables and pull those cables off the property or any any loose wire like this is like a telephone pole so for example it's fast in here you would just take it and just pull it off the house just like that just pull it off it'll come right off so that's part of this is part of the training and things that you will be doing so any trash or you see leaves are, are falling so the leaves that are falling what you would do again is rake up the leaves okay so again this is general labor so if you're looking for a general labor position full-time with us that's an example of what you will be doing also this is a floor that the guys just laid in this property once they're done laying the floor they will, there will be extra tile or extra flooring for example that we have to go into the warehouse we have a warehouse in dallas on harry Hines. here's garbage the how the garbage have to go in there this is underlayment to the floor this is old this is material that's new you will be required to take this material right here take it to the warehouse again this is just general labor so then you see you have to just get a rack and clean make sure all these rooms are cleaned up so the guys here are done painting and they're pretty much done with this room for the most part they've had they have installed ceiling fans and things of this nature so they're installers the only thing a, a general labor individual would do is take the rest of the paint cans to the warehouse or drop them off to the next job site here's the area that would have to be cleaned as well so pretty much just get a broom keep it nice and clean here just take a broom and just clean up now some days there may not be any cleanup to do if that's the case if you see here how there's no doorknob you may be asked to install a doorknob and things are like this you may be asked to uh, install ceiling pans if you are general labor and if you can install ceiling fans then you pretty pretty much what we consider semi-skilled so you have general labor semi-skilled and skilled but this mainly just general labor guys
Okay. Here's material also in this house that's already rehabbed. So that material would also have to be taken to the warehouse. Here's a broom. You can use this broom to kind of just sweep up the floor. Keep the houses nice and tight. So the guys pretty much rehab this room already. There's tape that's on the wall right here. General labor. Again, only thing you're doing is taking this tape and just removing it off the wall. Sometimes if you remove it, it may leave some tape residue, glue residue. You will be required, required to clean that up. So it just, again, this is basic general labor. You may be required to put tape on the wall in order to protect, or like on a door trim, in order to protect this wall so when the guy's painted. So again, this is general labor. So that's pretty much. So for example, you would come in this house, you would do what I just did, do a walk around the house, clean up the outside. You would pick these up, for example. Right, so let me show you. This is basic training. Take these. Hopefully, if you got a flatbed truck like I do, that'd be great. So you just go from house to house, you're just picking up a lot of stuff that was left at the houses. And now I load that on the truck. You're just gonna load everything, take it either to the next job site or take it to the warehouse. All right. So if you are interested in a general labor position, make sure you get in contact with us. We are currently hiring in the Dallas-Fort Worth area.